Here are the three biggest nerfs of 2022. Up first is the Cryo Cannon. This guy used to be a staple of ceramic stalling and maximizing the pierce of his fellow monkeys, but this was a brutal year for the man as he was hit with nerf after nerf. His price was increased to 2250, his attack cooldown was increased by 20%, and his pierce was decreased from 30 all the way down to 20. The Cryo Cannon could not catch a break, and now the Arctic Wind is my go to. Next, we have farming in general. Early this year, the Monkey Office was hit with one of the biggest nerfs of all time, taking it from the peak of the meta down to a situational buy. We used to get a mini early and rush a monster one later on but these days you only get it if you run out of space to place your brfs then and only then do you buy a monkeyopolis ninja kiwi said that this was the original intent for the upgrade so i guess mission accomplished i'm just happy that we still go for as big of one as possible and if that wasn't enough later this year boat farming was destroyed once the fastest way to farm in the game it is now a remnant of the past and often skipped the trade empire cash bonus to merchantman was reduced from 20 dollars down to 10 which ruined the snowball effect that this would create Eight. Honestly, it was a deserved nerf, especially since the money generated counted as pops for the Navarc, but this was easily one of the biggest nerfs of the year. And finally, we have the Apex Plasma Master. This man's attack was increased from 0.3 to 0.35 seconds, making it quite a bit worse for bosses. But the bigger nerf to him was Ninja Kiwi's change in philosophy to balancing paragons around accounts with full monkey knowledge as they were most likely to be making high degree paragons. This shift caused balance changes to other paragons like the Glaive Dominus, making them much more viable in boss events. Combining this with the attack speed nerf made the Apex Plasma Master go from a staple of boss events to only getting picked on certain maps or if you have the money for that extra crossbow master for the third tier boss. Now you may be wondering, how did I not include the insane number of nerfs to Geraldo on this list? Well, I have two reasons for that. The first is that even with all these nerfs, he still remains at the very top of the hero tier list right next to Brickle. And the second is that he was so incredibly overpowered upon his release that I just look at how he is now as what he's supposed to be. I mean, he destroyed every expert map while also being able to complete a 1TC on Scrapyard. So I'll just chalk that one up to Ninja Kiwi letting us have some fun with him before properly balancing the man. But those were the three biggest nerfs that I remember in 2022, and let me know if I missed any down below.